Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dave from Flash Dance TJ Service. Look at that. My rack is all completed. I kind of screwed up a little bit earlier. Um, I went to um, shoot the video and I didn't like it. It was too dark. And then I realized while shooting it, trying to reshoot it, that my lights weren't screwed in. That's in my power conditioner. So I redid them. So I tightened them up and bang, they're on. So now I can use that for my light underneath. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you around the rack and show you what I did. Okay, as you can see, right here, the MC6000, and it is working. No, I've not had, really had any issues. It is scrolling. Okay, um, you've got, if I hit play, that's Selena Gomez, right there. And then on the other side, you've got... Music in the Bush from Disco Era stuff. Um, I love both songs, but that's the Bimbo Jones Radio edit. Um, I just was fooling around with some stuff. This is a great little laptop. Me and my mom got this on sale last year, um, right before Christmas. It's a satellite C65. Uh, it has an Intel video processor, but uh, it works for what I do. So I got it up and running well. Haven't had any issues, so... This is a modification right here that I had to do. If you look, there's a hole right here now. Okay, obviously, as you know, because of this, there is no hole there. Well, for the MC6000 for the headphone adapter, as you can see, it's right there. So this is how nice this is. Watch. All I have to do, put that in there. Get the who's who lined up. Get it to click once, and then slide it through. Bang. It works. It's there. I have headphone. Um, so that's why I did that. That's what I had to modify. Now, underneath, mounted. Now, if you remember right with some of the Odyssey cases, this right here. Don't mind that snoring. That's just my dog. He's uh, he's laying down on the couch, relaxing a little bit. Um, okay. This panel right here, normally, you can take out if when you have a ro rack or a road-ready case. This panel will come out on this because it's wood. Okay, does not come out at all. You know, it's all jointed in and got these nice corners on it. And as you can see, this thing is a little shabby. I've had this thing for about, I don't know, five, six years or so. But anyway, let's talk about the products that are in the rack. Okay, um, as you can see, running right now without speakers, I'm, at, I'm sitting at 122. Even with my speakers running, I usually set about 120, even on the worst circuit I can be at my mom's house, which has a refrigerator running on it. Run this whole rig and run the refrigerator at the same time. And even when the refrigerator kicks in, this only drops me down to, it'll only drop to 118. So this rack is self really, really efficient. I can't, even with the uh, QSCs at full blast at my mom's house, I can't believe how efficient the rack runs. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a Belkin, Belkin 4-port USB hub that's here. It is powered because I was using it with the Denon HC4, uh, HD 2500, so I had to have a powered USB hub for that, so that's why that's powered. Then I've got the Shure uh, PG88, see, PG88, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway. That's uh, internal antenna, so there's no external antenna, so it's kind of nice. It's a really nice unit. As you can see, it says zero and one. That's because that's how I have my two cordless mic set up. And I have the DBX Drive Rack PA, which is a great little unit. Now, the question I have for you guys is this. I'm going to show you this. This is how I modified it originally. As you can see, there's two holes here. The smaller of the two, this one is for an XLR cable. Okay, I have one of these on each side. Okay, and that is so I can run my full range right in. And as you can see, that's for a power wire. Now, what I'm thinking of doing on this side is opening that up, putting a panel similar to like that, and putting a power con input there, okay, for my power in, and putting an XLR out for my subs so when I even if I'm using my other case with, uh, with with my passive subs it'll still work I can just hook up a shorter line and run that into the amp and then on this side let me come around a little bit here as you can see 
I have two on this side. However, I screwed up, I went a little too close, and there's a screw in there. So it's sometimes a pain in the butt, but I still have the other one. Okay, and so what I'm wondering, guys, okay, let me turn this around. Sorry about my hand. What I'm wondering is, should I modify those holes and do the XLR connectors on the left side of the case, and on the right hand side, do the power con and the subwoofer output? Let me know. It's, uh, it's something I've been thinking about for a while. Um, you know, and that's one thing that's great about how I've got this rack set up. If I go around this way and show you, let me take the panel down. That's how nice and neat my cables are. Not many people can say that about their racks, that their, uh, their rack inside is all, I always zip tie a lot of my cables. This cable is my, um, XLR audio coming down into the drive rack. Those are my uh, power wires, as you can see, my power and USB. The hub is on top behind the, uh, the power supply that you can't see. I got the two power supplies for the, uh, for the Denon and the uh, uh, cordless microphones. They're actually Velcroed to the top of that. I also have a power strip in there because the, um, the plug for the hub goes this way it sits sideways so I have a vertical um, power strip that sits up there and what I do is I actually will run two extension cords instead of running it because normally I run this okay that nor this normally sits on the ground this is a Belkin uh, heavy-duty protected power strip commercial grade power strip that has a fi uh, 15 foot cable that runs out that I run that to the wall and what I want to do is take but that cable okay and whop it off from the end of that or buy another one similar to it put the power con on it and toot toot lock it into the side so that way i don't have to worry about it or unless you guys think that's a great thing because this has a six foot cable that comes off the back of the the new mark power conditioner and i drop it down and what i do is i take my powered speakers which are usually on black 50 foot extension cords and those go inside the rack as well and those get plugged into the power strip so that goes there then I also left myself enough room up here as you can see even with my stand when I mount my stand on this lip right here the laptop stands about that tall if I back up the laptops about that high off the thing at its most highest point now what's great is I turned off the video screen effect so when you close the lid it don't shut the laptop off so if I need to I can actually step out from the side I can step out to the sides or I can lower it but usually usually the table I use I set my laptop up over in this area so it's, it'll sit right there so I can still do this but then what's cool is I can put my DMX 44 right here in this area and control my lights so that'll be the next video I'm going to talk about is my lights. Um, I actually, I'm going out for a little while too, guys. I got to head to a store because I want to get rid of this case now that I don't need it no more. I have this one for Marathon. This is the uh, MC6000 uh, case that came with the unit when I bought it. And I don't need it, so I'm going to take it to my local music store um, around here and see if um, they'll put it on consignment, which they already said they would, and uh, I think I'm thinking not much more than a hundred bucks for it, um, and maybe pick up a laser from that purchase, you know, from trading that in or whatever. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to say practice and enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the next clip. Um, I have to go over to the storage unit where all of the equipment stored, and I will set this back up and show you guys how I built my facade. I'll, I'll shoot a couple of those videos, but in the meantime, I'm going to post this on YouTube and Facebook. So practice and enjoy.